This video shows how to create threshold areas in the Business Analyst web app. Threshold areas are rings or drive times around a site that contain a specific amount of a variable. For example, a drive time that contains 100,000 households. To create threshold areas, start the workflow under Run Analysis. Threshold areas can be created for a single point or from sites and point layers that are already in your project. For example, you could choose to create threshold areas around a set of existing sites that you have already created for a set of healthcare clinics. In this case, the center point for each of the ring-based sites would be used to create new threshold sites. In this example, we are going to create a threshold area around a single location. Enter an address and choose Next to set up the threshold areas. Select the variables you want to define the threshold areas. Here, we can select threshold areas that reach a certain amount of total population. You could also select other variables in the data browser. You can create up to three threshold areas for each location. For example, create thresholds values to create areas that have close to 25,000, 50,000, and 100,000 people. Choose the type of areas to create. Select rings or drive time and then use the units drop down menu to choose the units of measurement. Optionally, click Threshold Settings to adjust how the threshold areas will be created. You can use the slider to run the analysis for better performance or better precision. When you have finished setting up the analysis, click Create Areas to create the threshold areas. This analysis may take a few minutes to complete depending on the number of areas being created and the size of the threshold areas. The threshold analysis starts from the site locations you specify and then expand outward until they reach close to your threshold target values you entered, creating rings or drive time areas on the map. Once the threshold areas have been created, you can view details in the results table and in the workflow panel. In the workflow panel, hover over an item to view more information. You can see how close the threshold areas meet your target values in the precision indicator. The resulting areas are stored in your project's content panel under Threshold Areas Sites. Check out the help documentation to learn more about this workflow. Thanks for watching.